Hello, just a quick one before I set off Bad the Jam Butty. Um, yeah, as you know from the post, early this morning, 6.30, 7 o'clock or something, passed over the border from France into Belgium. Belgium. And it started me thinking as I was riding along, things that Belgium's famous for. And I'm riding along thinking, I said, so things flash through you, I don't Belgian biscuits, chocolate biscuits, apparently they're famous for that. I never got that at all, because I'd never had Belgian chocolate biscuits growing up. But apparently they're famous for the beer. Stella Artois and stuff like that, apparently they're supposed to make good beer. I know they're famous for Eddie Merckx, the cyclist. Remember him, Eddie Merckx. I know Hercule Poirot, who is, um, of course, the famous detective. What else have they got? This uh, cheating, diving, little, mad-ass shite, Eden Hazard. Good footballer, but what an absolute plonker. We don't like him. And they've got a few good footballers. Oh, they've got one warrior who, if he'd have played for United for the past five years, they wouldn't be anything like in the predicament they're in. Ever since we lost Vidin and Vidic and Ferdinand, we've had a succession of bozos. Absolute bozo centre-halves have been crap. Eric Bailly is the first decent one we've had since uh, Vidic and Ferdinand. No, what we should have had was the Belgian warrior leader that is Vincent Compagnie. Vincent. Now there's a good thing to come out of Belgium. And it pains me to say it because he plays for City, but fantastic, fantastic warrior, the leader of a centre half. Great football. And then, of course, you've got Marouan, a big gangling lump with an afro. And United fans and Everton fans know him the best, obviously, in England. But regardless of whether you support United, Everton, or any team, he divides opinion. And I'm thinking, I watched him for the last couple of years for United. I've thought to myself, He's absolutely shy. can't kick a ball. For someone so tall who wins so much in the air, can't head the ball. Why is he playing for United? He's nowhere near good enough to play at that level. And I'm thinking, I hate him. But I don't hate him as a person. He's a great person. I've, I've heard all the reports from him off other people. He's respecting a lovely man. I mean, as a footballer. And yet, just lately, I've been starting to go the other way and, and, and I'm kind of on the fence at the moment because he's done a lot for United this year. He's shown an awful lot of courage. But the thing I like about him best is the game now is full of people like Ed Nazard who you, like, you just look at them and they fall over and dive and go to the referee and try and win free kicks. That's the bane of the game at the moment. And some footballers, they'll brush their forehead against Marouane's eyebrows as somebody did recently. Uh, a City player, Sergio Aguero, just brush his eyebrows and hit the deck like they'd been shot. Part of me wants to say, Marouane, go out into those games, use those elbows and give them one from me and from footballers, football lovers everywhere that hate the diving and the cheating. Go on Marouane, go out there and give them a few digs. So I kind of like him now. So depending on uh, what he does tonight, oh, one more thing. We said he can't kick a ball. He can't head a ball, and they're usually prerequisites if you want to be a professional footballer. He can't do them. But he does one thing better than any footballer in the history of the game, right? Now, that's not his grow big fuzzy afros. He does this. He takes the ball on his chest. You'll see it tonight. Watch the game tonight. Ball come flying over, over the top of everybody's head. He'll take it on his chest, and he doesn't bounce off and go to someone else. It's as if his chest is made of Velcro. And it'll stick to him for three or four yards and he'll run around a couple of people with it stuck on his chest. He takes it. You won't see anybody in the game ever again, probably, do it as good as he does it. So anyway, so that's all Belgian things I was thinking of. And then the other thing is, I've been driving around when I was going through the towns thinking, why are there so many car salesmen in Belgium? Car salesmen. I didn't know they were famous for that. I never heard that. I'm not sure there are, you know. And then I realised what it was that had been making me think that way. It was the number plates on the cars. I thought, I'm seeing all of these cars, they have trade plates on. They've all got trade plates on. I must have been in the town with a lot of car insurance, but I wasn't. It's the flipping number plate. They've got trade plates. I'll show you, I'll take some pictures later. The Belgian number plate. Andy Rose, Power of Now Tour. I said this was going to be short, five minutes. See you later.